Last episode, I rushed the fight kiln and unfortunately failed on Harakin, partially due to bad luck and also partially due to tentacles absolutely shredding me. After failing in the kiln, I set off to improve my setup and now we're ready to run it back. That would be better, to be honest. Bro, you stupid mother... You're actually... Oh yeah, why don't you just mosey on over to our Aiken dude was... I don't have 12 hours in the bin, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Death, death wants me to run it back. But before I do that, I need to repair my Tockel Zo Ring, which boosts my damage against volcanic creatures by 10%. The last run completely broke it, and the only way to recharge it is to get 50,000 Tockel. In RuneScape 3, the best way to farm Tockel is repeating Wave 4 of Zuck, because the monsters are all melee and safe spottable, and if you don't do the challenge wave correctly, the wave is just going to repeat itself infinitely. So I'm going to get myself to Wave 4, and we're going to repeat that wave over and over again until I've got enough Tockel to repair my ring. The other bonus of doing Wave 4 Zuck is the common drops are extremely good, so we should make some money from this too. I mean, look at my hit chance. My hit chance is great, and we can actually see our toggle as well in the drop in the drop logger, so that's good. Okay, but like these two that are gonna kill me, I can go like that and kill them because they're in the way. All right, so we've already looted ten thousand toggle. That's not bad. I'm just wondering if I'm overworking. Like maybe I can just stand in this corner the whole time. Perfection. I got a serenic scale. Wait, the first Sirenic scale on the account. All right, let's see how we did on loot there. I spent 45 minutes farming Zuck. Two and a half mil? Wait, that's actually like really good. For the limited amount of effort that was, it was good combat XP too. I might train in here. 10 huge cell? Wait, that salvage is ridiculous. Okay, 45 minutes later, and I've now got enough toggle to recharge my ring, which means it's time to gear up and head back into the kiln for round two. But before we run it back, a message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Exile Amal, who've collaborated with RuneScape 3 to give it a free set of weapon overrides called the Umbral Crypt Lord Pack. This exclusive weapon override pack features three weapons, the Umbral Crypt Lord Staff, the Umbral Crypt Lord 2H Sword, and the Umbral Crypt Lord Chakram. If you're someone who's been looking for a fashion upgrade or just likes collecting RuneScape cosmetics, these three weapon overrides literally took me 60 seconds to claim completely for free from Exile Mall. You can snag them up yourself by clicking on the link in the description or pinned comment and signing into Exile Mall. You'll then be given a code that can be redeemed on the RuneScape website to add the overrides to your account. I've always been a fan of purple, so this was an instant claim for me. And it's also cool to see Exila collaborating directly with RuneScape and bringing out a custom skin that's free for everybody. For the mages out there, the Umbral Crypt Lord Staff is the weapon for you. If you prefer to melee, you can rock the Umbral Crypt Lord 2H Sword. And if you're a ranger, check out the Umbral Crypt Lord Chakram. Thanks again to Exila Mall for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back into the fight kiln. This was our preset last time. This time around, we're going to be off of the blood spells. We are instead going to be on the normal spellbook so that I can use vulnerability and regular water spells. I think it's gonna be a lot better. Second change, I'm getting rid of the ammo to zealots. I didn't really use it. The biggest change of all in the armor department, we have skeletal boots and skeletal gloves. And then instead of our mystic helmet with 170 armor, we're gonna be going in with our hood of subjugation with 259 armor and 17 damage bonus and one prayer bonus. The one other big thing is instead of being 52 defense, we are now 70 defense, and I've got way more HP as well, and I'm 81 magic instead of being 78. And I've also unlocked Sunshine. This will be our last attempt at this. If we don't get this today, whether it's by skill issue or anything else, we're going to hold off for a little bit. We might just not be there. Oh yeah, I can also vuln everything for 10% more damage. That's really, really good. Ooh, big attack level from the Terror Bird. It's massive. You know what I'm noticing more than anything else? I feel like I'm taking less damage. I am also literally 20 defense levels higher, but like still. Yeah, I'm definitely doing more damage. Oh, without a doubt. I also can adren stall infinitely because I've got preparation unlocked. That helps a lot too. This is going a lot better. Yeah, I'm not even praying against this guy and it's going okay. I think it's the defense level. I'm on a ridiculously good pace. Yeah, compared to the last one, bro, he's actually adapting to my prayer flicking. Leave me alone. The only thing that could ruin this run is I think I have too much food and not enough prayer. But then again, I need the food for Harakin anyway. That's where I could just guzzle the food. Guys, we're on pace for a one hour kiln right now. How is big guy? 55% hit chance. Okay, these guys are still rough, but that's okay. Wave 10, we're at the first jad in 23 minutes. We're on an absolutely record pace. Here, wait, y'all wanna see a magic trick? 
Reckon I can take two dad hits? I think I can take two. I'm scared. <sighs> okay, maybe I should have just tanked one, but it's fine. I'm learning. I'm limit testing. I got a limit test. When have I ever made a mistake? You got to think about it that way. I could pop it here for the memes. I'm going to pop it here for the memes. <laughs> Wait, if I rejuvenate, does it give me double the HP? It does. Wait, I'm actually a genius. That was huge. Look how much HP it gave me. Okay, so Constitution Crystal kind of has a use. What if I use it during a Harakin to just double my HP? And then I use Rejuvenate right away to get me all the full. Bro's got stiff curry range. Wait, that's actually crazy. Just yeeting me from across the map. None of that, please. Yeah, we're, we're actually getting this cape. I, I'd be really surprised if we didn't. I've also doubled the food that I have too. Like I've literally 2x'd my healing. So it's a tradition for this wave that you have to do a big deto. You got to take a seat and then ready. Bang. That was so satisfying! Holy! Wait, we're actually cracked now! That's the difference between yesterday and today. I didn't have that kind of power. <laughs> eat a little bit. I just need to eat enough to get me through the kill at this guy. That's fine. One more hit. Okay, let's pop the crystal. <laughs> that's about as low as I'm as I'm happy going, I think. Wait, actually, the dill's not on me. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's easy then. Yeah. Uh-oh. That dill can get on me. Back, 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 back. Oh my god, bro. Ah, nope, that way. That's the tile. That's the tile. That's the tile. That's the tile. He can't attack me anymore. <laughs> it's so precise. Oh my god. Oh! What? How did he hit me? Did I tank a Jad hit? Wait, my guy's a beast. Dude, I got the Jad hands. That is level 82 magic coming in, which is pretty nice, actually. It means I can almost use sunshine just without, like, a pot or anything. I could just straight up use it. Focus, dude. Focus. Can Jad hit me if I go here? No. Nice. All right. I have some of my last terror bird. I'm just assuming Harakin isn't going to take 20 minutes. Maybe that was a bad assumption. Maybe I should have gone down to the last second on it, actually, but that'll be fine. I'm going to eat a lot of food pretty early. We've really, really handled this well up to this point. I'm really scared about the last boss. The last boss did something to me yesterday. All right, I'm gonna crystal. There's a constitution crystal. See that? And then I res, and now I'm full HP. All right, so now I have 11,000 life points heading into this last fight. Pot up, here we go. So new strat is when these guys spawn, I need to kill them. I haven't eaten yet though, that's good. I've got a lot of food. And I'm in a sunshine. Dude, look how little my damage output is, though. Do you see how pathetic this is? Wait, I didn't keep on my food. No. Help. I'm safe. Dude, that is absolutely abysmal, bro. The spot. I think when I get a bad spot... Yeah, I just need a drain, dude. I'll be okay. So now I've got one Invuln Crystal, two Restorations. The Restorations are good, too. They're a full heal. Okay, now there's one range and one Mage on me. That's okay. Oh my god. Get me out. Run. Okay. Dude, how can that guy hit me from there? Brother, hit the little mort. Hit a little morty action. Okay. So a bunch just despawned. So a bunch are going to spawn in a second. No, dude. No, that's bad too. Eat. Uh, I need to invuln again. I need to hide. Look at these Freaking spawns, bro. We've got the boss to half, though. Okay, I need to be really, really careful here because that's going to happen. Are they both range? They're both range. Okay, I need to restoration in a second. That's the death side, so I can't go there. A bunch are about to respawn. I'm 99 Adren, though. If he spawns here, we're in an okay spot where I can actually sunshine. And he does. I need his guzzle food or I die. They hit a thousand? That spawn actually just... Screwed me over so badly. Run. Reflect quickly. Holy crap. Okay. I mean, he could spawn here. Look at them all. Please spawn here. Please spawn here. Okay, a bunch just despawned, which means they're about to spawn on me. More are about to spawn too, so I need to be above 50% adrenaline. Okay, that was big. I was able to kill it fast enough. That is the world's worst spawn, but that's okay. Bro, I'm doing a full DPS rotation on this stupid thing. 
That is the worst spawn ever. Oh no, dude. Okay. Three in a row on the opposite wall, brother. Wait, it's actually open. And now it's closed again. Oh my God. How is it hitting me from there? What are you talking about? Mm. Oh, window. That was literally the spawn I needed. Give me my res, please. 52 life points. That's very, very courteous of you. Okay, so that one just despawned. So one's about to spawn. It's gonna spawn on me. So I need to kill this one ASAP. I know big guy's back, but I could go over there. No, it's better to kill this guy. Yeah. I can't target big guy. That's a really bad spawn. I need to run away. That's a bad spawn and I'm out of prayer. And a new mage one is about to spawn too. Uh, there is nowhere for me to stand, actually. Yeah, there's unironically not a single safe tile, I don't think. I'm gonna clutch this. Pop the immort, pop it. Oh yeah, we're gaming. We're absolutely gaming right now. Uh, that's bad. It didn't die. It was two on top of each other. Uh, I am dead. Yep, I'm dead. It was two on top of each other. Uh, oh my God, look at them all. No way. No way I die here. I'm dead. That is so unlucky. That is actually so unlucky. That was literally the worst RNG in the universe. That is absolutely heartbreaking. I've now spent two days on the fight kiln with nothing to show for it. I clearly need better armor and I need to not rush this. So let's get back to being a good Iron Man for a little bit. I'm gonna do my dailies and then we're gonna go back to the God Wars dungeon because I think the next upgrade we need is pretty obvious. I am Hello. so proud of you. You <laughs> Bro, I don't got no, 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 no. You gotta tell me that I didn't do good enough and I gotta do better next time. I don't oh, need Ryan. any of this. I don't need okay, none okay, of this. Okay, 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 okay. Ryan, you sucked. I am so ashamed to be having you on my group Iron Man team. Same. I don't know how I even got on the team with a loser who can't even freaking kill Harakin. Bro, we are seven days in. We're one week in. Didn't you say, oh, I want to hit raids? How are we going to hit BM? How are we going to hit Yaka if you can't even freaking kill Kiln? And y'all say, I'm the weak link. Oh, no, no, no. You're short. <laughs> you're bad at the game. And you can't even kill Harakin. <laughs> so pull yourself by the bootstraps. <laughs> Go get better gear, and I want to see you have gotten a hard act and kill by tomorrow. <laughs> no, we all need to calm down in here real quick. No, no, I, caught the, I caught the tail Bob. end of that. We just need to calm Bob. down, all right? No, no, I'm with Bob. I'm with Bob. She had it. Uh, she what? said exactly what we were all thinking, just no one had the balls to say it. No, Le Legos, I appreciate it. You're a good friend, but she was right. I'm going to be standing in the shower, just facing the wall, water pouring on me for like three hours, just thinking about that. It's so nice being able to do caches and just like, wait, I got 25k XP from caches. That is 59 divination coming in. And we're going to leave it there. Wait, I'm 60 divvy? That's pretty cool. 20 more levels to the invention rack. What in the, what is going on at cash? Nah, Bru there are 300 people here. I am on, I'm, I'm just leaving. Level 50 farming coming in. That is 51 farming. We are almost at the Chinchampa level. I'm letting you guys know right now, the Dungeoneering arc is gonna be soon. Even if I just do small C6s all the way up. With that said though, let's turn in our daily challenges. Bang, I got a fletching level, pretty cool. I also got an aura reset, which is actually kind of amazing. I mean. I also do feel like if there were things put in place, that is 64 defense coming in. Not bad at all. That is level 47 herbology coming in. Dude, Jod is insane. You literally get a herb level every time you do it. I explained the Jack of Trades aura in an earlier episode, and I talked about how there's a priority to use it on agility and then a herb lore. But that's the best practice for a regular Iron Man, and I'm not a regular Iron Man. I'm a group Iron Man, and we're gonna be funneling all of our herbs to Pup as the main herbologist on the team anyway. So I've decided I'm gonna do something a little bit unorthodox, and I'm gonna start using Jack of Trades on archeology. span Archeology span is a bit of a weird choice because if I lamp it all the way up, I'm still gonna have to backtrack and do all of the lower level collection 
transaction logs to go through the qualification process, but it's still going to be a lot faster to do that than to actually train archaeology myself. But despite that, I still think it's worth doing because archaeology unlocks a ton of extremely important things, and they're especially focused on quest requirements. As soon as I get level 58, I can complete as an address quest that is going to unlock Elder Troves, which means that any bossing I do in the Elder God Wars dungeon is going to give me these additional loot boxes that have some insanely good rewards, including things like extreme potions that otherwise would require a really high herblore level to get. And if you take it one step further, at level 74 archaeology, I'll be able to complete the City of Seniston quest, which is going to unlock four additional spells that get added to the Ancient Spellbook that include Animate Dead, Smoke Cloud, Exsanguinate, and Incite Fear. These are the absolute backbone of using magic, and as the magic locked player, I think this makes a ton of sense. But we're not done there. There are actually two other really important archaeology upgrades that are going to be unlocked by getting my level up into the mid 60s. As soon as I get to the mid late 60s, I'm also going to be able to unlock the Shadow's Grace Relic, which just halves the cooldown on all of my mobility abilities, and I'll also be able to unlock Ancient Summoning by completing the Dagon by Mystery, which is going to unlock Ancient Summoning for myself and the entire team, because you don't need the requirement to use the pouches, you just need the requirement to make them. So basically, I've decided that archaeology makes the most sense to lamp, and we're going to be lamping it with Jack of Trades and all of my other D&D rewards all the way until 74. I know on the surface that seems like a bad idea, but I'm pretty sold on this being a good option. The early levels have just not felt enjoyable to me. I'd rather use Jack of Trades on the thing that I don't want to train. Alrighty, that is level 20 archaeology. You know what? I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think if we can get four archaeology levels a day, that actually saves me like probably 20 minutes of just AFKing in a way that I don't want. So seems good. Wait, that is 54 prayer. Shout out to the incredible Nemi Forest, the absolute best. That is level 54 farming. Wait, that's level 17 hunter coming in. I'm just getting raw bird meat for terror birds because that's a thing that you need. Okay, that's dailies done. So let's get into the God Wars. Also, I just got because 74 defense. Ooh. Yeah. I'm 75 constitution. That's pretty cool. There's the meta. Perfect targets, dude. I've done it. That's when you know you've done a little bit too much. When you can just randomly, without counting, perfectly get the TC in. Oh! Oh my god! We got a garb! Let's freaking go, dude! Hold up. Zoom in. Ready? Oh my, we're actually juiced. So the power spike on that, by the way, the difference is, so my skeletal top, 168 armor. The garb takes my armor up. rating from 168 to 298. It is almost double the armor rating. <laughs> Another effigy. Dude, what is going on with these effigies? Uh, that is level 75 defense coming in. Hello. An absolutely sick level. And now we can turn it on magic. Full blast, all gas, no breaks. That is level 84 magic coming in. One more level until we actually get to use sunshine whenever we want. With impunity, we could just sunshine here, sunshine there. Y'all have about an hour and 10 minutes to get sunglasses. I'm not even kidding. That's my 200th kill. Wait, that's awesome. Yeah, we're actually, we're doing great. God Searcher 3. Let's go. Okay, so if we get a God Sword Shard 2, we literally have a Zamorok God Sword for Pup, assuming someone gets the smithing level. Will not be me. Pup is on pace to be making it for himself. And he just, when he started playing RuneScape, he just played on a... Oh my god! There's no way I'm actually the biggest spoon in the world. We've got the super spoon! I'm actually super spooned. We've got a full subjugation set. Minus the boots and the gloves that don't even matter. There is no way. Dupless, oh man, we're gonna have about 10 years of bad luck coming up. Like it's about to be, it's about to be so bad for us. Look at the fit, dude. Look at it. I'm actually, that's just, come on. That's just the biggest W in the universe. Maybe this is our, our first account with a really, really good luck coefficient. All right. Rest in peace to my bird. I'm letting him die. You served me well. Your watch has ended, small terror bird. Wait, I've got an extra. No. Uh, editor, delete the VOD. And then I needed a Google PETA's phone number and then make sure they're blocked. 
R.I.P. to Larry. Oh God. Get out, get out, get out. Hoo, hoo. I just really didn't want to do a forfeit. All right, big day. By the way, if you don't have the level needed to open up a starved ancient effigy, you can give them to the NPC on the first floor of the Varrock Museum for a 5k XP lamp and any skill that's over level 50. This is probably worth doing when you're in the early game considering there's a cap of five effigies that you can get at one time and it's really easy to hit that cap. Hey, that's 55 runecrafting. Thank you, historian Minas. You are kind of a beauty, I'm not gonna lie. Krill in the Zamorak Godwars dungeon has been absolutely amazing so far, but there's one other drop that might be fun to go for. In RuneScape 3, the Godwars bosses also have a hard mode version that is generally not worth doing at all unless you're pet hunting, but it also has a chance to drop the Zamorakian Soul Stone, which will store some of my boss kills within it, which will reduce the amount of kill count I need in subsequent trips. This isn't a particularly important item, but I think it'd be fun to try to get one. So why don't we hit up hard mode for a little bit and see if we can get lucky and also see if we can even do hard mode because unlike in normal mode, hard mode is a lot harder to hit and has a lot more life points too. Hard mode also introduces a number of other mechanics. So we're gonna have some things to look out for. All right, team, it's time for hard mode Krill. I have a sneaking suspicion. We are going to get absolutely blasted. Wait, 83 is not bad. That is also with maximally potted up stats and runic. Bro is meleeing me. I think the biggest issue here is whenever I run out of run energy, I'm gonna die in two hits. Like I might have to pop sure-footed. All right, maybe I just get really lucky. What if we just spoon a soul stone on the first kill? Did I win? Bang, any soul stone? Nope, it's just 70K. I can walk, okay. I don't need run energy for this boss. Ow, I'm doing it. Wait, I literally thought this boss had anti-walk. It definitely doesn't though. Oh God, run! What does that mean? He's running at me! <sighs> Light work. Okay, sorry. He said die in the name of Zamorak. My apologies for not being the happiest. All right, that is another hard mode kill down. That is also 76 constitution, pretty cool. I'm out of run energy. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. It's, this is so over, please. Move! <gasps> what I get? I got the soul stone! Let's go! Let's get out of here, quick! This place is terrible and I'm gonna die! <laughs> Big day, light work. I don't mind getting a little more kill count. I'm, I get to be alive. <laughs> Spear would be a really fun drop. Ooh, God's Richard one. That is a duplicate, unfortunately. We need the two. What is that? Oh my god, we got a spear! No way! Dude, there's actually no way we got the spear for Pup! Dude, big Pup with the big spear? That's actually unreal, because Pup was just lamenting that he doesn't have a tier 70 he could use. And now he's got a tier 75! Let's freaking go, dude! Dude, how have we not had a dupe yet? Dude, uh, every boss we go to after this, it's gonna be doomed. We're rocking a red salamander right now, like... Holy moly, you caught that yourself? I did. Caught his own his own best-in-slot weapon. What a giga yeah. chad, holy... There's no lack of content here on my end. <laughs> no, I've got like a million things to do too. I haven't had a quest in a while. <gasps> no freaking way! Oh my god. There is no way the dupeless run is we're boots of subjugate look at my setup i'm almost <laughs> subjugation samuel Yo, without a single dude. dupe all right gloves <laughs> next surely surely awesome. this is the run wow. dude i'm gonna get bodied by every single boss we do after this for the entire rest don't even bring me along after this don't even bring me along i don't even i don't even get it uh also i just got level 85 magic so i could actually use sunshine no! No way! Oh my god. There is no way! We're done! We're actually done! A dupless full set of subjugation with a spear and a god sword hilt! It's actually done! You know what? I'm gonna say it. It was the ring of luck that confirmed doesn't work. It has to be working. I can't believe we just got a full dupless subjugation set in 280 kills. That is completely nuts. 
If you want to flame me in the comments, I honestly get it. This is absolutely unprecedented luck, but I will absolutely take it. But now, at very least, I am a thousand percent confident that this is going to be a successful fight kiln run. I mean, look at this gear. If I fail this time around, it is not a gear issue or a stats issue. It is a pure skill issue. So let's get back into the kiln for what should be the final time and finally get my revenge on Harakin. Imagine walking into a store like you hitting up a 7-Eleven and the guy behind the counter is... Can we get him a sock at least? He got roasted by Bob. Sure? Fair. Okay. Before we go this time around, I'm also going to buy a Gravite Wand, which is a tier 55 magic weapon. This is only a five tier upgrade for my Mystic Wand, but I'm honestly pretty rattled by the kiln at this point, and I need to do every possible thing I can to make sure that we can get it done. So if a five tier wand that costs an absolute ton of tokens to buy and an absolute ton of money to repair is the difference maker, I'm willing to shell out the money and try it. This is an absolutely scuffed move, but... It is what it is, man. I've got a graphite one now. I actually feel like I just got scammed. All right, let's recharge the Taco Zoe as well. Let's make light work of this. Dude, I kind of want to pop Runic and see what happens, but I think we'll play it safe and pop, uh, pop Vampirism. Let's go. <laughs> We're back. Yeah, do you see how bad my damage output is here? 49%. So I'm doing half damage on every mob that is already half damage. So I'm doing a quarter damage. This is the thing that is making this difficult. I do kind of wonder what would happen if I popped Maniacal, though. It is It means I'm going to get shredded, but I will be able to do a lot more damage to everybody. What if I reset Vampirism? So I have it as a backup that I can switch to if it doesn't go well. And then I start the last waves on Runic. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Dude, let's hit it with a little Sunshine action. Why not? That's something I didn't do a good job of last time either. I definitely didn't sun enough. What am I doing? Oh my god, I literally did it right and then broke it. I'm the worst. I just rezoed a six. We've got the first jab this wave. 20 minutes in. Not a bad pace, actually. I think even faster than last time. I'm glad at least we can sunshine on jad. That seems actually, like, immensely helpful. Good little jad kill. On to wave 11. Yeah, I just want to be able to move on to some actual account goals without this just hanging over my head that we weren't able to do it. Bro, my terror bird just did, like, 600 damage. That's crazy. I just hate doing a wild magic and it's like 800, 800 and knowing that I'm in like really, really good full power gear. Yeah, the only thing I'm a little nervous about with Hurricane is I like the idea of going in with a constitution crystal active, pre-active, but then it means I can't activate anything else. So if I end up in an emergency, it just means like be careful because you can't, you can't panic or clutch. One other crystal that I didn't mention in the last episode that is dropped in the fight kiln is the magic crystal. It super buffs my magic level, which is absolutely awesome. I'll be able to do a ton of damage and I'll have way better accuracy, but it comes at a very significant trade-off, which is that it also absolutely obliterates my defense level. When your defense level is artificially lowered, it means that you can no longer use defensive abilities if you don't have the level required to use them. So even if on the surface this crystal seems good, if I actually click on it, it's going to mess up my entire run and I'm probably going to die a few seconds later. It's an absolute glass cannon approach and i don't think it's worth the risk dude my terror bird is hitting like a bus i don't even know what's going on bro's crazy he's doing more damage maybe that was the upgrade you know if we fail this run that's what we're gonna do we're gonna train summoning and i'm gonna just get a combat familiar that can hit through all of the accuracy nonsense all right we're at jad two it's not like the mobs that I need to kill have a lot of life points. It's just that I do 4x less damage on them. So I, they only have 6,000 HP. I just, I can't kill them. All right, gather round. All right, Invuln Crystal. Look at all the crystals though. So for this bit, I can either guzzle food or I can use defensive as well. Let's do that. Dude, I feel like Bunny Bob's ran if I fail this one. That was a big res, perfect. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw on Runic after this mob dies. I think it's a good opportunity to see what it's like and see if it's worth continuing with Runic on for the end of the fight. Yeah, dude, Vamp doesn't even heal me that much, to be honest. Oh, my aura is gone now. All right, it's Runic time. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset Vamp right now in case I decide that I that Vamp is better so I can just hot swap it. Wait, the Dill is clapping me. Is the Dill stuck? Dill stuck, Dill stuck, Dill stuck. Good, Dill stuck. Dill no longer stuck. Oh God. Brother. No. 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 Oh. Oh, sh oh. Oh, stop! What was that? Bro pulled out the dragon claws. That was very fun. I think it's time to powder too. Dude, that one insted me. That's not really fair, is it? Okay, 29 and 30 are both easy. I don't even think I need to get more life points, to be honest with you. 
You know, I can't even think about it as a, as like, what if I die? I'm not going to die. I have to approach it as an, I know I can do this. I'm geared for this. I'm definitely not over geared for this, but I am geared for this. I got the stuff I need. I'm so nervous. I'm, 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 I'm legitimately very stressed right now. I just like, I don't want this to go badly. There's no way I just tanked the Jad hit, bro. Wait, I'm actually cooking this one. Is this the runic effect? Again? Dude, how am I tanking all of the Jad hits? How am I gonna get a Rezo this rate? Let's Excalibur now. Let's Constitution Crystal now. So now I have 12,000 HP exactly heading into last phase. And I wanted to do that early on purpose because I do want it to wear off, but I don't want it to last the whole time. I don't want it to last too long. And it's her Akin time. We meet again. 86 magic too, good omen, good omen. Let's get through all the dialogue without losing a gen quickly. Got it. I'm hitting 800s. Wait, look at how much better my hit chance is. I'm cooking this fraud. This is way better. I am gonna lose a lot of prayer though with Mystic Might on, but I, I, I feel like it's probably worth it to be honest. I'm hitting a lot more. Harakens right here. Okay, that was good. I got 20k off. Dude, I like the Constitution Crystal. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it helps a lot. Brother. Okay, well, we're not, <laughs> we're definitely not doing that. So, I mean, I guess, you know what I could do? Whenever my HP's back down, which is now, next time that happens, I could invulnerability crystal and then rip it. That's a good idea. I'm tanking way better, by the way. I think that's the biggest difference is the subjugation. I, I feel like I'm actually just tanking. Dude, check this out. I'm doing so much more damage too. Okay. I think unless I'm really, really unlucky, I'm, I'm definitely feeling um, better about this run than the last run. It does depend a lot on where he spawns though, but like right now we're safe. Like I don't need to worry about anything right now. I just sit here. Uh, that's good spawn. Oh, magic crystal up. That's too bad, but that's okay. I've got all my crystals left over too. Big, 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 big. It's a magic tentacle on me. So we do that. I haven't used a single food or a single crystal yet. This is going so, I think we've got this. I, well, okay. I should not have said that. Oh God. But look how well I'm taking it. Dude, I'm literally taking like 10 times less. It's the subjugation. It is literally the subjugation difference. You guys are noticing like how much less damage I'm taking, right? This should be hard to screw up. I, I'm gonna have to throw in like a truly spectacular fashion to not get this. I'm I'm feeling great about this run so far. Uh, that's a bad spawn. I'm not gonna deal with two ranged tentacles. I don't think it's worth it. No, you know, I'm just gonna be patient. I've got time. I got lots of time. Uh, that's magic and range. Okay, so now I need to go this way. Okay. So then we crystal. That's okay. That's what they're for. Yeah, this is the biggest difference is these mage crystals are doing no damage to me and I can kill them with a wild magic and an asphyx and that's it and it dies. That's a really, really big difference. And we definitely spend our adrenaline here because yeah. He's likely, if he spawns there, we can attack, but we can only attack if we get this range tentacle down first. Yeah, dude, okay, the range tentacle is still cooking me, but that's okay. Is that a major range? Oh, it's a range tentacle. Um, okay, so I'm actually gonna invulnerability crystal here. I think that makes the most sense because we're gonna get free damage here. I'm invuln to all damage for the entire up part. Yep. And you know what? If we're okay on spawns here, we could invuln crystal almost to the finish line here. Okay, so now I got a dip. Okay, a bunch are about to spawn. Okay, so shield's on. Uh, I'm gonna pot again. Okay, they all spawn up there. Good. I will say, if I had these spawns last time, I think I would have got it, to be honest. But I mean, it's not done yet. Yeah, which also has me a little scared that I'm gonna have the world's worst spawn. But even then, it's kind of, it was kind of a skill issue last time because, okay, see, that's a bad spawn. Do you see my flicking right now? Dude, I might be the Haraken Whisperer right now. That was nasty. Y'all see that flicking? Bro is almost dead though. Oh wait, I have a couple more seconds where I can attack. Let's just do that. Oh, I'm getting hit by both and they're not staggered. Okay, back. Back. Uh, that's okay. Yep, this is okay. I just need to not panic. I don't want to get greedy either because this is not one cycle from being done, it's two. So I'm not using this invulnerability crystal. Yeah, I'm not getting greedy there. Uh, now I can go, now I can go. Now I can go get a little bit of damage here because there's only one on me. It's also really low actually. If I deep breath, I think it dies. It's really close. Actually, if I chain, I think it dies. Did I get it? Uh, I did. I killed one. Okay, nice. Back this way. 
Okay, so now, as long as I can stay safe for the next 45 seconds, we've got this. Okay. Get up with the meta! Here we go! Blast off! And see you, idiot! Boom! Let's freaking go! That took so much longer than it should have taken. It's just that easy. <laughs> Me being anguished for like five days over this stupid fight. We are not taking the Onyx. Give me the talk, har, cow, medge, the magic cape. Get in. Let's freaking go, dude. We have successfully climbed the mountain and conquered the killed. Dude, it looks so sick. It actually looks, it's magic colored. To, oh my god, I'm actually so fired up. Let's freaking go. That was so sick. Okay, so now we finally got our cape. Uh, worth noting, it is really similar in stats to the Gunnixcape. Literally 33 magic versus 31. But it also has almost double the armor and it has prayer bonus of plus two. So it's actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm glad we have it. I feel like we have kind of a setup right now. Like we're kind of, <laughs> for day nine, I'm feeling pretty geared out. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest difference by far was the subjugation. I think the powders helped a lot too. Shout out to Legos for getting those to me but by far the biggest thing was the subjugation. With my absolutely beautiful kiln cape on my back, now it's time for the recaps. Legos has now unlocked the fishing guild and with it, the deep sea fishing hub. This means he can now access the traveling merchant shop, which sells a ton of extremely useful items on a daily rotating schedule. This is gonna be absolutely massive for his progression. Legos also finished the upgrade tasks that are required for tier 70 necromancy gear, and he trained up to 55 dungeoneering. Outside of flaming me for being bad at the fight kiln in a way that I don't think anyone was expecting, including me, Bunny Bob unlocked War's Retreat, completed the Mortania Easy Achievement Diaries, which is a Group Iron Man Journey Tier 5 achievement, and is continuing to work on her questing. As for Yeoman, he completed Elemental Workshops Part 1 all the way through 4, the absolute mad lad, and reached 150 quest points to unlock the Vanquish. But he can't equip it yet, so he's upgraded his weaponry to a Tier 60 Red Salamander, and he also completed the Regicide Quest so that he also has access to the Crystal Bow, which is tier 70. That way, he's got some decent weapons that he can use before he's level 75 range for the Vanquish. And I wasn't the only one who was doing fire-related activities. Yeoman wanted to end off his day with a bang, going for a Jad and a Fire Cape. But he managed to take so long on Jad that a second wave of healers spawned before he'd even finished dealing with the first one, which I didn't even know was possible. Wait, they spawn again? There's no way. But in the end, no harm, no foul, he got his cape. Pup got up to 70 attack and then got his Bone Crusher unlocked by doing Cerberus with me. He's spending a lot of his time mining and smithing as well because he wants to be the first in the group to unlock Invention. As the Meleeer, if he keeps up with his mining and smithing, he can make his own best in slot gear for training all the way up until he's in the high level 80s and low level 90s, so that's pretty cool. With the recaps out of the way, that is going to be it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel for more awesome RuneScape videos. I really appreciate the support, and if there's anything you think I could do to make these videos better, the comment section down below is the place to be, because I read every single one. With that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.